Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another Corps of Engineer campground adventure. Uh, if you'll recall, last week I said I was going to be dropping Trudy Thunder off. That's accomplished. Did that first thing this morning and then I drove north and east for two and a half hours, actually longer than that. And the forecast changed. When I was setting this trip up, the the weather looked pretty decent. You know, I have 10 to, or a 20 to 30% chance at the worst. Well, <laughs> that's changed. I had some very, very heavy rains this morning. Today, I find myself at Twin Dykes Campground on Lake, on Sam Rayburn Reservoir. Lake Sam Rayburn, Sam Rayburn Reservoir. Deep in the East Texas Piney Woods, the big thicket area. It's 92 degrees and it's 100% humidity. It was pouring rain when I arrived. I was originally scheduled to be in site number four, right over there, and pitching a tent. When I got here and it was pouring rain, I thought there must be a better option. Sure enough, there is, there's four screen shelters here with a covered picnic table outside. And man, you, you could even put an RV in here. 30 amp and sewer. How cool is that? They, all four of these are full connection RV sites and the pad is, looks to be pretty level. I just wish I had Trudy Thunder. I wouldn't have had to move in y'all want to see inside my humble abode look there somebody left us a fishing lure so if we get hungry we can go catch some fish it was pouring rain when i got here and now the sun is shining but there's storm clouds on the horizon my humble abode we'll start in the kitchen this video is sponsored we've got three sponsors Three sponsors for today's video. Martin Camping Stoves. I love that thing. Ampro Portable Battery Pack. That powered the new air refrigerator as we were traveling after I dropped Trudy off this morning. You can see in the bedroom, so it's a We'll go from the kitchen to the living room office with a stellar view of the lake to the bedroom. Got to move the old, the old fan. Turn on some light. And there you have it. It is. Oh, it's, it's so much cooler in here. I bet it's 20 degrees cooler in here. Not a, not a perfect seal. What would be ideal is if I had a, a freestanding wall tent. That would be cool. Because you can set that wall tent up in here and you would have a conditioned space. We're going to take white lightning and we're going to go see some Sam Rayburn stuff. I'll pull out Little Red tomorrow because there's, there's more storms coming this way. And, Electric scooters and rain don't mix, so let's go see some stuff. I gotta put my sunglasses on, but I don't know. I don't know how well it shows up, but there comes the next round. Coming out, coming out here. I drove through three storms that were that were so heavy. There was so much rain. I had to slow down to about 20 miles an hour. So if you're coming out to Twin Dykes and you want to boat Lake Sam Rayburn, Sam Rayburn Reservoir, they're expecting you. <laughs> they are really expecting you. They got a lot of boat ramp. And that's all boat ramp parking. And then there's another boat ramp over there. We'll get in the truck. We'll cruise over there and check that out. Islands. That's cool. There's lots of islands. And then there's the Lone Pine Island. Looks like the lake's very low, so they, they need lots of rain out here. Now Rayburn, Sam Rayburn Lake, 
Sam Rayburn Reservoir is an impound on the Angelina River. Uh, there's one other lake that is on the Angelina below here, and that's B.A. Stinningham, 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 anyway, it's down there where Martin Dyes Jr. State Park is located. So this water goes that way. Our big thundercloud right there. We better get busy. We better go see some stuff. Let's go see the other side of this boot ramp. Give you a nice clear view as we cruise over there. Since we don't have little red to do the rolling special effect. Maybe it's not a boat ramp. Yeah, it is a boat ramp. I, I have no idea. There you go. It's a two laner and one lane's closed. Let's go see some more. Let's go see some more stuff. If you're looking for a place to do some, some tent camping, when the weather's a little more favorable for tent camping primitive camping they have got some really pretty primitive campsites you can get a group of people in here into this one you get water and then you're up on a bluff overlooking the lake right across the street from the big old tall pine trees and you got to pay attention because uh, it's rumored that that big guy with hairy feet lives out here. Maybe we'll get lucky and have an encounter. All right, let's go. Let's go see what else we can find. Twin Dykes actually has more primitive campsites than RV campsites. There's, there's not really a whole lot of RV, but man, they have got a lot of primitive sites. And if you require lake access from your campsite, but you don't need power and you don't need water, this would be a great site for you. I think it's 32. There's a little bit, a little bit of a slope there for your tent but somewhere. But if you're in a van, you're not gonna be level, but <laughs> you have access to the water. Such a beautiful place. Of course, I say that just about every place I go, I, I, I make that statement. Well, I mean, look, this is truly a beautiful place. And if, if it wasn't 100% humidity and 90 degrees, it would be beautiful today. Let's go see some more Twin Dykes stuff. Twin Dykes apparently has a, a hike and bike trail. And according to this, this is, this is walking trail. Twin Dykes Park Trail. But it's so faded out, I can't really tell. Actually, that's 0.4 miles and that's 0.6 miles. It's a nature trail. I don't know, I'll see if I can find another map somewhere. Let's go find some more stuff. But I went west out of the campground and I am now at the Overlook Park. So that's the spillway. And this, this is the Overlook Park. There's a mon monument, it's dedicated by Lyndon B. Johnson, President of the United States, 1965, the Sam Rayburn Dam and Reservoir. Oh, 1960 to 1965. And this is where all the big fish are. I bet that's pretty dang deep. All right. Let's go see some more Sam Rayburn stuff. So that's about as close as we're gonna be able to get to the outflow.
I tried going down there, but you gotta have you gotta have special access. And there's not really any place that's convenient to hike down. Oh, that's as close to the outflow as we get. So I got a little break in the weather. So I, I deployed a little red to get at least one scooter tour done today. If, if you're planning on a group gathering and, and you want to be out here at Sam Rayburn Reservoir, you'd be happy to know here at Twin Dykes they have got a group pavilion for your party pleasure. They even have, it looks that's a horseshoe pit, but you got to bring your own shoes and your own steak. There's power. Now this is cool. Cook up a big old mess of burgers right there, buddy. Look at that. Heavy duty. All right, let's, let's go see what else we can find. I hear thunder, but it's over that way. We need to be worried when it's over that way. You, you know, I'm, I'm stretching for stuff to show you when we're at the dump station. But this one, this one's actually a pretty well-designed dump station. You don't have to worry about the curb. So people are more inclined to get their waste inside. It's got flushes, flush valves on both sides. And then there's even a potable water facility. And now you know, I've had requests to look at bathrooms for disabled people. The one here closest to me, it's, it's not, not handicap friendly. Now you can get in there, but there's not, the, the shower's pretty high off the ground. We'll go take a look, I'll show you. So the shower, this, this would be considered the handicap shower, but I mean, that's, that's pretty high off the ground. And this one's not any better. But there's a newer facility here in the campground, so we're, we'll cruise down and check that out while we're looking at showers. So th this is the newer, I'm, I'm pr I think. But this is pretty well a standard Corps of Engineer newer concrete structure design. And we have a dedicated handicap shower here. So it's got the nozzle high and low. There's no temperature control. I think that's pretty, pretty much the same thing we're going to see over here. Only, yeah. So now you know. If if you require a handicapped shower, this is the better one. All right, let's go see if we can find something else. If you're camping at Twin Dykes and, and you want to go for a swim, the closest designated swim area is Ebenezer Park, which is across the dam. As you saw, we drove across the dam and those islands over there, that's, that's where it, Twin Dykes is. You, you really can't see it, but trust me, there's islands over there. But here at Ebenezer Park, they've got a beautiful sandy beach. The water level is really low. 
So there's a whole lot of sandy beach. All right, I have deployed Little Red, so we're gonna go see, we're gonna go see the rest of the stuff here at Ebenezer Park. There's not a whole lot here at Ebenezer Park, but there is a really, really great view. There are some, some primitive sites, so we'll, we'll go check out some primitive sites. There are, there are several primitive sites here at Ebenezer Park that are stellar. Like that, that look at that, just a beautiful park, or beautiful campsite. And there's several over here that have got new tent pads. Way down there, you could be right on the water. There's actually some that I can't get to on Little Red because you gotta do the gravel road, but there's, I'll hike in there. If you're coming out to Ebenezer Park and you're looking for a really good campsite and you don't have a great big rig, if you got a van or you're camping in the back of your truck and you don't need power and you don't need water, look at this. Epic site right here. They even left you some stumps to sit on. Wow. Looks like <laughs> there used to be a, something up higher. Used, used to be a more campsite or something. But it's gone. Beautiful. All right. Let's go see some horse stuff. The primary claim to fame for Ebenezer Park is horses. It is the, as far as I know, the only equestrian campground on the lake. There's like 30 sites that are full connection, I think. Eh, maybe not full connection. The 50 amp and water. And they're very adamant. You, you can't camp in here if you don't have horses. But all of the sites have paddocks and tie off post. You can tie off your horse. You got manure carts. Yeah. So now you know if you got a horse that likes to camp. Ebenezer Park. All right. Uh, let's go see if we can find some more stuff. Well, back at Twin Dykes Campground. Look at that beautiful lake. Man. This is just so beautiful. Uh, these East Texas lakes just... They just take my breath away. The last couple of days have been rather hectic. Running around shooting video of all these different campgrounds for you so the next several weeks you're gonna have some really cool campsites to check out and some of the, the, the ones I visited today I, I kind of had a surprise at, at two of those locations I'm not gonna tell you which ones and what because that would steal the thunder you're gonna have to subscribe so you can see it in four weeks, something like that. It'll be worth it though, I assure you, if you're interested in camping in East Texas in any way, shape or form, you're gonna wanna make sure you watch those videos or that video. I'm done here. I had a kind of not necessarily a surprising turn of events anytime you're, you've got a, a vehicle uh, being you know, a vehicle in the shop for warranty work rarely rarely does it ever go the way they promise you it will go and thus is the case we have here I was informed that I'm not picking up Trudy tomorrow and I may not be picking Trudy up on Friday. 
He said, maybe Monday or Tuesday. Well, Monday's Labor Day, so I know I won't be picking it up then. But if I'm picking it up on Tuesday, I hate to drive it. And some of y'all are going to go, oh, it's not that far. I, I, I don't want to drive from, because I, I got all my clothes. I got two weeks worth of clothes in my RV in Houston. So I got to go to Houston and, and get my clothes, because I'm, I'm about out of clean clothes. I only brought three sets with me. So I need to go back to Houston and pick up my clothes and some other items that I need out of the RV. And I don't want to drive all the way back to North Texas only to turn around and come back down here in a couple of days. It just, that's not, I don't think that's a good use of my time or fuel. So I, I got to be mindful of that. So rather than going all the way back north, I jumped online and I actually have secured a RV site with connections, water and power, in a state park, mind you, last minute. I mean, just jumped on there and found one at Somerville State Park, Nail Creek Unit, which is the equestrian side. I've not ever camped there, but I did visit. And when I was there, I was like, this is a really pretty campground, and I'd like to come back here. <laughs> so tomorrow morning, before sunup, I'm going to drink a cup of coffee, and then I'm going to drive. And I'm going to go to Houston and pick up my clothes, and then just continue on west and go to Summersville and pitch a tent. So I'll be, I will actually be pitching a tent then. I don't have the option of a screen shelter. And I got to tell you, that screen shelter, that screen shelter has been the bomb. Uh, it's just, you know, it's like camping out on your, your screen porch. I really like it. And I think I'm, I'm going to plan on doing more of that in the future. And I'll be a little better prepared as to how the setup goes. Uh, I have some interesting Friday's finds coming up. Let's talk about Twin Dykes. It's okay. If, if you want to go swim, if you want to walk down to the water, it's a bit of a challenge here. I mean, there's, there's a lot of steep bank. The only real water access you have is over by the boat launch. And then that's, that's not really that easy to get to either but you can and the and as you saw there's a swim area on just on the other side of the dam at ebenezer so if you need to get in the water you can just go across the dam this park is extremely quiet except for the occasional vehicle on the farm to market out there there's no overhead noise no planes no trains just automobiles <sighs> What else can I say? Uh, the facilities are, are degraded. Uh, the, the, the screen shelter over there has got form, uh, the Formosa termites eating it away, uh, or it had, and they, they may have treated them. I, I don't know. It's got some damage. And that's a common theme that I have seen the whole time I've been out here, is just the infrastructure's degraded. It, it, they all need some refurbishment and rejuvenation. Do I recommend Twin Dice? Absolutely. There's some great campsites here. There's a lot of cool stuff to check out in this, in this, on this lake. This lake is just beautiful. And if you've watched Lone Star Law and you've seen them dealing with the people on Rattlesnake Island, well, that's that island right there. <laughs> Rattlesnake Island and Lone Pine Island are right there off that boat ramp. That pretty well covers everything I wanted to say, I think. I saw some bald eagles fighting right over. I don't know if they were fighting or having sex. So they, they were going at it. I don't know. What, it, what does it sound like when bald eagles have sex? It, it was pretty aggressive. I'm done here. I'm rambling. I would say Twin Dykes is both a destination and a waypoint stop. It's, it's pretty convenient east, north and south through East Texas. If you're passing by and you need a place to spend the night, 
they're probably going to have sites available unless it's a holiday weekend. Come on out here. Check out this beautiful lake. Check out all the other campgrounds, too. The, the next three weeks, four weeks, you're going to see nothing but East Texas campgrounds on this lake or right next to it. Thank you for sticking with me through uh, until this point. I really, I really appreciate that. Uh, if you found some value, please click on that thumbs up and share me on your social media. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have already, who are already following, thank you. Thank you so much. That's why, that's why I get to come out here and check out these cool sites. I mean, look, 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 how cool is that? That's awesome. Thank you for that opportunity. And for my patrons, you guys rock. Thank you. I'm so grateful. Y'all come back now, you hear?